Welcome to this edition of Recreationally Yours. I'm Jana Stab. I'm the Center Director with the City of Florissant. And I'm Kelly Snyder, the Recreation Specialist here with the City of Florissant. Well, Kelly, we have a lot of things going on um, in this edition with the fall coming up. Um, tell us a little bit about who you're going to be interviewing. Um, I'm interviewing Brendan Kane this afternoon. He is over the ice rink where we are right now, which will be opening here in the next couple of weeks. I know everybody's excited for our outdoor ice rink season this summer. Yes. Um, and then I, we're going to talk about a couple new fitness programs that the city is offering, as well as what are you? What are we? Yeah, talk we about? have a couple of Halloween activities going mm -hmm. on, um, both um, for youth and teens, and then our just big hall um, Halloween extravaganza that we have here at the community center. So we have a lot of things going on. So stay tuned for more of Recreational Years. Hi, welcome back to Recreational Years. I'm here with. Brendan Kane, uh, the center director for the James J. Egan Center. Awesome. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, I like your shirt. Me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, Brendan is our supervisor for the ice rink. It's going to be open in here in a couple weeks. We're looking forward to that. So what information can you give us about the ice rink, Brendan? So first of all, we're looking to get started here. Um, public skate. Public sa uh, skating information is one of our you know, oldest programs, one of our, our biggest programs that we've got. Um, let's see, we do uh, Wednesday evening, 7 to 9. We do a Friday evening, seven to nine. That's that's the big one. I've been coming to that one since I was a since I was a kid out there, falling down, hanging onto the side of the boards until I pretty much taught myself how to be a below average skater. <clears throat> and then uh, the thing I wanted to mention to everybody out there is this this year the the Saturday afternoon time has changed. Mm -hmm. It's always been two to four, but we've had such an influx of different renters and youth groups and things and teams that that need to use our rink because uh, the Chesterfield Valley um, complex closed. So a lot of people are without, uh, are without ice, and uh, so we've been inundated with quite a few requests and have not been able to, to take them all just because we've only got so much time. But uh, we're going to move that to 1.30 to 3.30 on Saturdays okay. uh, during the day, and then we'll still have the evening 7 and 9. But 1.30 to 3.30 on Saturdays um, so we can get the little guys in here to get their, get their practice in after that. And then uh, Sundays we've got afternoon 2 to 4 also. So that's, that's a really good program we've had for a long time. I mean, it's, it's affordable. It's, you know, you're not going to find uh, prices that good, you know, really around town. It's, uh, let's see, we got two dollars for, for kids, three hours for adults, for residents, and it's, you know, only a, yeah, only a couple bucks more for non-residents. So, uh, also, uh, resident appreciation skates, those are big ones. We have uh, free popcorn and soda. Um, <clears throat> so just bring your resident card and we've got three dates, December 31st, so New Year's Eve. Okay. Uh, we got January 15th and February 19th, the holidays, and that's uh, free for Florissant residents. Just bring your updated resident card, which you'll need to have an updated uh, one for the January 15th and February 19th, because our all of our cards expire at the end of the, of the year. So they'll need a new card, but it's free, and we have popcorn and soda, and it's just a, a good time. Bring the family out. It's, uh, Perfect. It's on holidays too, so right. most everybody's off. There's, there's no school those days either, yeah. so it's a great day or a family activity. Yeah, um, sure. So with the ice rink opening, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that are awesome skaters and maybe a below average skater, but do we give lessons or how do we? Yeah, we do. We do have a lesson program. Um, it's called learn, our Learn to Skate program. Mm -hmm. So we've got three different levels. We've got a kiddie lesson. It's for like three to five year old. That's your, kind of your beginning uh, beginning level. And then uh, we do a beginner lesson for six years and older. Um, and then we've got an advanced beginner as well. We don't have like an advanced advanced. We don't have like an Olympic level, you know, uh, you know, figure skating. You're not going to win a gold medal here, but you will learn how to skate. Um, I've, I've put my own kids through it. I've, I've been here, I've watched it and they do a really good job. The kids have a great time. And um, they, my, my son learned to skate. I couldn't teach him by myself, but when I brought him here, he learned how to skate. So uh, I would highly suggest that those, uh, we do a holiday lesson and that one is December 26th through the 30th. So the kids are, are on holiday. Yeah. Um, so right after Christmas. Great you know, Christmas present exactly, too. Exactly, get them, get them a fresh pair of skates, um, you know, get them some gear. And then, um, then we do a Saturday lessons, Saturdays only, mm -hmm. it's January 6th through February 3rd. And it's 20 bucks for residents, 25 for not residents. Can't again, beat it. Again, you can't you just, beat it. You just can't beat it. Can't and, beat and, it. Uh, does it come with skate rental? It does, uh, it does come with skate rental. So we'll have skates here for you if you need them. Um, but like you said, that's a good Christmas present. So get the, kid, get the kids a pair of skates. So all the ice rinks open. Do we have any special events going on or do we do anything special? Yeah, we do. Um, 
we do a party on the ice, and it's kind of our closing thing at the end of at the end of the the season. And it's for um, fifth or eighth grade kids. It's Friday, March second, and it goes from six thirty to nine. It's um, it's a great deal. I mean, every year it's residents. It's five bucks. Non-residents seven bucks. You get pizza and soda. So the kids the kids come up here and drink Mountain Dew and bounce off the walls and they have a good time. But we have plenty of adult supervision. We've got our rink guards out there and uh, you know we have a DJ. He sits in the penalty booth and plays music. It's a really good time. Um, I highly suggest anybody fifth through eighth grade um, come on up here. You, you'll need to get tickets ahead of time though. Don't just show up. Well, because it, it sells out. We've only got so many tickets we can that we can sell. So it does sell out and uh, I'd suggest getting those uh, as soon as they go on sale, which would be February 1st for residents and the 8th for non. So. Perfect. Um, thank you for all this information about the ice rink. We are super excited for the ice rink to open, hopefully cold weather. Um, I know there's a few other sports leagues and sports programs we want to talk about. Yeah. Um, let's give us some more information. Well, uh, we do an indoor volleyball program. We're currently in the middle of one right now. We just started one and we do a women's league on Monday nights and we do a co-ed league on Thursday nights. And it's, uh, it's a lot of our teams from Sand come over in the summertime out at St. Ferdinand. They come back over and, and come inside, just kind of keep the party going. So they go from Sand and come indoors. I played in the league for many years, um, past champion, no big deal. And then I, I, I know you are as well. Didn't you guys win it last yeah, year? Yeah, we won it. You played in the you played we'll in the, thir again in the Thursday Don't league. Worry. Will you? Okay, I hope there's some of the other teams out there listening, <laughs> trash talking going on here. Um, so yeah, that's going on right now. Uh, it's a great time. We'll start a winter league um, after the fall league's done, and that starts January 8th, the week okay. of the 8th. So that's Monday, and then Thursday is January 11th. Perfect. And for a team, it's 175. Can't so, beat I mean, it. You divide you that up into six or seven people. You know, you're talking. Uh, 30. Bucks. I was told there'd be no math, so don't don't just <laughs> use a calculator, people. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll start registration for that December 4th and, um, and it's a lot of teams from the fall so if you want to get in make sure you don't don't wait too long oh, yeah. for that. So we talked about adult volleyball. You mm -hmm. have some youth sports programs that are going on? Yeah, so um, kind of my specialty and, and something I really uh, have a lot of passion for is soccer. So we do, um, especially in the fall, it's a big, it's a big fall sport. We do, it's called Kickstarters. Okay. So we've been doing that for many years, um, and it's for uh, ages three to four is the, the younger group, um, and then we do five to seven. So we just kind of do them back to back, so they've got about 45 minutes. Anything more than 45 minutes for kids that age, it's, yeah. you know, they start losing attention. And, but, but for 45 minutes, they really get, uh, you know, a good understanding of the basics. Mm -hmm. And then um, we've even had a couple kids in a session that's going currently that are, are pretty good, and our instructor has played club ball, has played college ball his whole life, so he knows kind of where to direct them when they get past, when they get to seven, it's like, now what, you know, so we can kind of direct them which way to go. Um, so that one is going to be, the winter starts uh, January 13th and goes through February 17th, okay. and that's over at the JFK gym, so you don't have to worry about rain outs or anything like that, um, so they're just inside uh, the gym, and parents are, you know, we encourage them to help because it's tough for one or two instructors to round up 10, three, four, five year olds. It's, it's tough, you know, so we have the parents out there with them and it's, it's a good time and they just kind of learn the basics. It's not a league, it's not competitive, anything like that. We just want them to have fun. A lot of them, it's their first experience with the game, so we want them to enjoy it. Uh, and that is uh, 60 for residents and 70 for non-residents. And if you look at some of the competitors out there, they do programs like this, it's a lot more expensive. So um, if you look around, that's, that's pretty reasonable, right? Yeah. So I know going back into fall, we're going to bring pickleball back inside. I know we have that beautiful court at Banger Park mm -hmm. that has been utilized. Um, tell us a little bit more pickleball and yeah. what's changed or what's so, going on. Yeah, we're just we're still rolling along strong, very strong. Our group started off, you know, everybody was a beginner. We had the pickleball ambassador for St. Louis came and did a, a free clinic and kind of taught everybody how to play. And so we bought uh, nets. We started with two nets, two courts, and we've since added one. So now we've got three and we do Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, 9 a.m. to noon, and it's um, you know it's a great time. Two dollars for residents, drop in. Three for non-residents, you get three hours. Great workout, and then not just not just the workout and the competitive portion of it, just the social aspect. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people go in there and they hang out, mm -hmm. and uh, you know this becomes their kind of their social group. Not just pickleball here. I'm going. We're going to go to lunch and do different things. So it's neat. Um, and I was a little bit. Uh, I, I kind of took the game lightly. I thought because I played some tennis. I thought I'd do well. We did a tournament for Valley Flowers, and so my wife and I got in it. And you know, she played college soccer, and I, you know, I'm relatively athletic. So I, I thought, you know, we're probably, we're probably going to win this. It's not going to look real good. 
and then got out there and got lost 13 and up in our first game. So there are some pretty good players, but there's also some beginners there. So if you're new, don't be intimidated. Come out, and these people are very willing and helpful to uh, to start you off and, and show you how to play. And so we've got people up, you know, pretty competitive, and then we've got some beginners too. So we've got a Perfect. good good game for everybody. Um, so thank you for joining us today on yeah. Recreational Yours. Mm -hmm. Appreciate all that's great information. Um, if you have any questions about any of the information that was shared with you, please look on our website at www.fluorescentmo.com. You can call either one of our centers, the James J. Egan Center at 921-4466 or the JFK Center at 921-4250. Thank you again for joining us, Brendan. I hope to see everybody out on the ice this fall and winter. Well, Kelly, you and Brendan really covered a lot of stuff with the ice rink and some of his programs that he has mm -hmm. coming on. Now, I know that you have a lot of, um, a few new programs in the fitness. Can you tell us about some of those? Yes, we have two new fitness programs, one in our indoor pool. It's called Aquatic Boot Camp. It's that once a week, gives you a workout, a little something different. You do need to be a um, pretty well inverse swimmer, as well as ready to get in and out of the pool without using a ladder. Um, but I, it's one of those classes that you can just totally mixes up your regular workout routine and gets you off that plateau and gets you in and out of the water, which is helpful to some people and it's very interesting. It's an early morning class every Wednesday morning. Um, so in, out, on your way to work, feel good for the rest of the day. Okay, great. So it's one of those that you can do before you actually even go into work. Perfect. Um, I know a lot of people are looking for those kind mm -hmm. of activities and they're kind of hard to find. We have a nice um, shower area that they can change in and then just zip off to zip work. Off work. Perfect, yeah. As well as we have Hip Hop and Pop Fitness. So it's a complete fitness class, all um, done to hip hop music. It's on Tuesday nights. I'd love to see people sign up for this. It's a great addition. A um, Little bit of dance workout, a little bit of weights, a little bit of resistance band workout. It's gonna be great. And then we also have our annual Halloween event, which we do hold on mm -hmm. Halloween, which is awesome. Um, and it is from six until eight o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. Now we do hold this just for our residents. So this is a program that is just for residents. It is free of charge, but we will be checking the resident card. So make sure if you're coming, you bring your resident card. Now, I don't believe that we check everybody's resident card. So as long as you're, you know, all the people in your group, because we do allow grandma and grandpa to bring their grandkids up because they're part of the city as well. Yeah. Um, so as long as when you come in, there's is um, a resident card, you'll be able to get in. And they um, have the moon bouncer in um, the gymnasium, we'll have lots of games for the kids to play. Um, and then downstairs, they'll be having um, hot dogs and soda as well. Um, so it's a lot of fun. The kids dress up in their Halloween costumes and they'll be getting can you know, a bag of candy as well. Candy, hot dogs, a little bit of dinner, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, a lot of people come just for this event, especially if there's not a lot of those houses open mm -hmm. around your, your neighborhood. Or I've seen some kids come in with their bag of candy from their neighborhood yeah. and come Stop in and have a little bit of fun. Candy. Have a little bit of fun okay. as well. Um, so we're really excited about that activity. Um, it, it's always very well attended. Perfect. Um, like always, you can check out our brochures at any of our facilities as well as our website at www.fluorescentmo.com. Um, we can also talk about the golf course. The golf course is still open, right. and it's what a beautiful weather for the golf course now, too. It's not as hot, a little bit chilly. They can swing for the air. Um, the phone number there, Janice will let you know, it is 741-7444. I think I got it right for the first time in a long time, Kelly. <laughs> well, that's fine. Yeah, and, and the golf course is always great. Um, it's crazy how warm it is already in October. Um, they are talking about a little bit of snow this year, but our golf course does stay open all year round. So as long as it's not snowing or raining that day, it, it'll probably open, but you can always call um, if, if you need to. Um, again, if you want to check out any of the programs that we talked about, we, um, you can get our brochure. Um, you can come into any of our community centers to grab that, or you can go online at www.fluorescentmo.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Janice Stein. And I'm Kelly Snyder. Until next time.